with, uh, within Israeli custody within 24 hours, and they're trying to say it's a natural cause of death. Listen here, you fucking stupid bitch. You literally walked in and had people murder people. If I see some fucking uh, Israeli out there with a Palestinian guy, you know, blindfolded and he's dancing around and making a TikTok, I'd do that shit too. Why not? Like, I would screw with him too. Oh, he died in custody. You literally beheaded people. You, you took a woman that you said was alive and raped her and then beheaded her. And filmed it. I don't give a fuck what you people think about anyone out there dying. Yeah, they planned it for two years. They planned. Oh my God, they can't. I don't know what to do out here. We out here in front of the White House with the unicorn stick a dick on my ass riot. And holy shit, you know what? They had someone in there. They had someone in there who was uh, who died in custody two days later. They say from natural causes. I don't give a fuck if they executed the guy. I really don't. It's called war. Welcome. It's not a fun place. It's not. There is no goddamn rules. No one gives a shit. All these fucking stupid rules. Nobody's going to follow them because nobody's going to enforce them. Do you know how many countries break the Geneva Convention? It's pretty high. It's pretty freaking high. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Me and my family came over here after sucking dick from one end of the state to the next to get to D.C. Oh, that's wonderful. You sound very nice. No one cares. It's a war overseas. Your stupid ass protest out there isn't going to do anything. No one gives a shit. You're protesting to an empty building nobody's in. But no, 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 you want to feel relevant. You and your friends all put, you know, Palestine flags up on your profiles. Stupid ass bitch. You probably go on Tinder and get upset when every man on there wants you to have a job, have some goals in your life. I don't understand people. I really don't. There's a certain point where their stupidity is so high that if you open up their head and shit inside of it, they might have something to think with. But no, no, we're going to go out there. We're going to we're going to yell and scream outside of an empty building in front of a fence. We're going to get tear gas because we started a bunch of fires and we're going to claim foul. But none of them, none of them are going to want to go over there and do anything. No one's going to get on a boat and go fight for Palestine. Nobody cares that for the last five to ten years they've been using civilians as shields and getting them killed. Nobody cares that, again, again, there's a woman out there who was taken out and raped to death and then beheaded. And the only reason we knew who was beheaded because we found parts of her skull after they smashed it. You think all those women out there, they just shot them? No, they raped them. And you think it was just the adult women? No, no, no. There was horrific things done to people over there. And you stupid fucks over here that are like, oh, uh, well, you know, uh, Jews are bad. Well, why are they bad? You know what they didn't do? They didn't go and rape a bunch of women and kill them. How about that? How about you, you, you look at what Hamas did and think to yourself, well, wow, holy shit, it's almost like the BLM movement, the rest of it. If we policed our own and made sure people weren't a bunch of fuck ups everywhere, this wouldn't have happened. But no, you let them come in, you let them build bases everywhere, you let them shell from your backyards, your schools, and your hospitals, and your libraries and then get pissed off when someone blows it the fuck up yeah that's what happened you didn't police your own you fucked up with somebody who has a better military than you you're going to die now that is the end of it and no one's going to help you that's what's going on so oh, I'm going to stand in front of a fence with my thumb on my ass. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Especially to a president who's not even fucking there. Everybody knows he's in Delaware. He announces where he's going every goddamn weekend to go play with his butt. Probably on Epstein Island 2.0. No one gives a shit about that. No one gives a flying fuck that he's out there molesting people. He took a bunch of money from you. Here's something I want to say to you. Here's something that none of you thought of that you really, really need to think while you're watching all this. What if United States is 10 times worse right now in the shitter than we all think it is? 
right? Why is this all a facade? It's all duct tape and, and masking tape and spray paint, and we're all fucked right now. Has anyone ever thought about that? Anyone ever thought that every dollar we do that we see getting spent, there's more than that? That they're lying to us about the number? And anything about that? That's something we should really, really be thinking about, right? But no, no, no. Everyone on TikTok out there is going to get all pissy with their fucking bullshit and their goddamn narcissism. And they're going to put, oh, I got 100,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah, Ching Ping Zhang over there is really loving my stuff. He doesn't give a shit about you. He's just pushing your narcissism so you go and do more dumb crap like this. And then you make the entire place look like crap. dickheads out there oh well you know we're all gonna put these rags on our head and we're gonna act like we're all palestinians now why don't you fucking go over there why don't you go die with the rest of them nobody gives a flying fuck about any of you anyways oh well my teacher told me to put this rag on my head and come out here if i do i get extra credit i got some guy hawking loogies on me and then we're too stupid. You put videos up going, hey, look, this is a Palestinian protest. They said they don't want gays here. Oh, but we still stand with them because we know what's going on. Yeah, they're so comfortable with their hot food and their warm beds and their showers and everything else. Oh, my God. I'm so sad. Oh, my God. Palestine. Oh, my God. What happened to Ukraine? Oh, well, the Ukraine's fine. You, 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 you bitched and moaned about that, too. But no, let's stand out there in front of a gate, yell and scream at a building with nobody fucking in it. Not even the Congress is anywhere around. There's no one there. You're doing this for your own fart huffing bullshit. And that's the end of it. So if you want to go make a difference, go fly your trendy, stupid ass over there and go catch a goddamn bullet. How about that? If you want to go and fight for him, you want to go act like, oh, Allah is great. And, you know, we're going to ignore the 20 years of them killing our soldiers, blowing themselves up, making bombs and trying to kill us. Talk about beheading people, beheading people, beheading Americans, beheading contractors, and not just contractors for military contractors. No, no. Carpenters. Chatty donated right? $10 through Super Chat. 100, 100, 100. Chatty, thank you very much for the tenor. Appreciate it. Plumbers, they beheaded. Contractors, they beheaded. The people who are rebuilding their infrastructure has for just free. $10. They decided they didn't like them, they needed to die. Right? Those are the same people. But we're, we're going to ignore that, right? We're, we're just going to totally throw that out the window today. Because that was, again, 20 years ago. We're not going to think about all that shit because that would be way too hard. You know what this is not only doing? It's not only grooming people for the attack, MAGA country. What it's really doing is it's getting the soldiers made to be shock troops to catch bullets in our own place, right? Because it's going to be a lot easier if they get a get a base going, right, of a bunch of stupid followers with their head up their own ass to go stand out there to catch bullets. Now, they won't give them any guns because if they give them guns, they might turn around, right? And they might figure out that, you know, what's going on. Why did I say contractors? Because they were contractors. They were plumbers and people who built stuff and military contractors who went over and got beheaded in the last 15 years. You think it's only the military that goes over there? Oh no, oh no. Oh, I got, I got some news for you, summer children. There's a bunch of people that work for the government who get paid by the government who aren't the military. Just so you know. And you know what one of the jobs they had there? Build infrastructure in Gaza and the Middle East who were taken out and beheaded and killed or thrown off buildings or suicide bombed. And they don't really talk about it. They don't really bring it up because, again, it's not technically American troops, right? It's contractors. It's people who used to be American troops. But again, you, everyone ignores that. That's too hard to think about. Too much to take in, right? They don't like you. They want you to die. They want to kill you. That is the truth. When they say from the river to the sea, that is kill all the Israelis in there because it's from the Jordan River to the ocean that they push you in to die. That's where that saying came from.
And look at Iran, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Oh my God, look, they're, they're wanting to support Palestine and give them weapons and stuff. With Hamas, with ISIS, with them. Oh my God, it's almost like they're all the same bunch of dickheads. It's almost like, again, that there are a bunch of war cults out there in the middle of the desert that they still hold on to those things really closely. It's almost like you can Google and watch them shoot each other with AKs and they used to have little wars between each other. And now they got someone better to do it. But again, little sheeple out there, little little special people out there who, you know, we're going to watch and still watch all the protests and stuff over there on the, some other people's channel. We're going we're gonna to watch a big flame in Gaza and, and oh, boo, oh, so sad. No, I want people to hear what they say, because these are the people coming for you. Right? Remember, they didn't go after you and try to hurt you at first. No, they got rid of your jobs. They got rid of your right to do anything online they got rid of your free speech they want to get rid of your guns then they want to have guns for themselves and then they want to put you in your box <laughs> okay said so i'm not feeling great today i'm under the weather and stupidity is getting to me a little deeper than i should let it so what's really going on here so unicorn, I fuck myself with a dildo on my forehead, uh, Riot, who has gone out there multiple times and we've seen them actually make stuff happen. I'm just, I'm just tired of stupid people. Just makes me upset. <laughs> 